Hi everyone, welcome to part one and two of building a lemonade stand app. So for this first part, um, it's fairly simple. We just have to launch our trailhead playground, which I've already done in the second tab. So let's just verify and get an easy 100 points. All right, so let's go ahead and go on to step two. Now for this one, we're creating the object model. So let's go ahead and jump into our playground. We're gonna start by hitting setup and go into the back end. And we're gonna create a new custom object. So by doing this, either you can go here under the object manager or you can click create new object. For this, it's going to be drink order, the plural will be drink orders. And then record name is actually going to be drink order number. I'm going to have it be an auto number. Display format is D dash bracket four zeros and bracket. Starting number is one. For optional features, we're going to allow reports. Mm -hmm. And then we're also going to la launch our new custom object wizard. I'm going to click save. So now we can pretty much choose whatever tab we want. I'm going to go for a bottle because it is a drink. So now let's click next. Scroll down again next and save. Alright, and this should be it, so let's head back over here and verify step to another 100 points. Alright, thanks for watching. I will see you back for part 3 of Building a Lemonade Stand App. To build a lemonade stand app. This is part three out of five parts. Um, for this one we're going to be creating custom fields. So I believe we're going to be creating two pick list fields and one currency field. So let's jump in. We are going to go to the object manager. Let's scoot this out of the way. And we're going to find a drink order. All right, let's go to fields and relationships and add a new pick list. Let's find pick list. There we go. Click next. Field label, we are gonna call this flavor. I'm gonna enter values. Um, so let's go with four values is what we need to enter for this. One, let's go with a regular, let's go peach, strawberry, and cherry. Is that how you spell cherry? I don't know. Um, we're gonna always require this to save a record. And let's go next. Next. And actually, we're gonna hit save and new because we need two more. This next one is also gonna be a pick list. Next, we're going to call this one size. I'm going to go with really boring size names. We're just going to go small, medium, large. And also, again, we're going to require this one. 
upon save. Next. All right, one more, save and new. And this one is going to be a number pick list. Actually, currency, I was wrong. Let's go next, this one is prize. I'm gonna limit the length to 10 with two decimal places. And again, always require the value. I'm gonna click next, next, and save since this is our last one. You can see the, we have price, size, and flavor. So we go back to the page and verify to earn another easy 100 points. All right, thank you for joining me for part three of Build a Lemonade Stand Up. I will see you for part part four out of five for building a lemonade stand up. Um, in this part, we'll be doing two things. We will be creating our app and then creating four sample orders. So let's jump in. From setup, we are gonna go to app manager. From there, we're gonna make a new lightning app. The app name is going to be Lemonade. Enter a short description. This is going to be app to manage my lemonade stand. Oops. All right, then click next. And then the next two screens we're going to skip. All right, for navigation items, we are going to find drink order drink orders then reports and hit next for user profiles we want our system admin and then also the standard user all right we have built our app so let's go ahead and click on the app launcher and check it out All right, this is where we're gonna create four new orders. So for the first one, well, let's do regular, small, and let's have that be one dollar. I'm gonna hit save and new because we want to add four more. So that's one. And let's make these all different. Let's go peach, medium, make that two dollars. Save and new. Let's go strawberry, large. Three dollars. Save a new one more. And let's go cherry small. And that will be one dollar. Let's click save since we're done. And let's go back. Verify we've done all the steps. And get easy 100 points. All right, thanks for joining me for part four of Build a Lemonade Stand app. I will see you guys for part five. The final part of our Build a Lemonade Stand app, this is part five. In this video, we will be creating our drink order report. So let's hop right in where we left off. We're gonna start off by going to the reports tab and click new report. We are going to search for drink orders in our report type. And we're gonna to wanna to add a few different fields. So let's add our flavor field, our size field, and our price field. Now we're gonna add row groups 
we're going to do this by flavor. Next, we're going to summarize by price. So I went to the little carrot, down to summarize, click sum. Now we are going to save our report. Report name is going to be drink orders. As for our description, we want it to be summary of lemonade stand drink orders. All right, we're going to click save and run. All right, that is our first part. Now we're going to add a chart. What we want to do is add a donut chart. So we're going to go to chart properties click donut and then one more I'm going to call it drink orders by flavor do it by record count all right and then we're going to click carrot again hit save and I believe that's it so let's go back to trailhead and click verify And there we go, we just earned a new shiny badge. Please let me know down below which badge we should do next.